Tonight in the high cost of homelessness, new drone video of a Germantown homeless camp that city leaders say is growing. Well, this is the same area where Metro Police say a woman was attacked while running on the Cumberland River Greenway. That suspect last seen walking away from this camp. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker joining us live near the Greenway with more tonight. Kylie. That's right, and you could just see how close into proximity this trail is to that homeless encampment. Now, this recently raised questions within the community, so today we looked into who even owns this site and if they're aware of it. Several tents surrounded by piles of trash on this stretch of Greenway off Cement Plant Road in Germantown. That's one that's kind of sprung up. I wouldn't say sprung up overnight, but it's kind of grown quickly on us in that the last time we had eyes on it, it wasn't as big as it is now. Captain Greg Davis, who oversees operations at Metro Parks, says they've been working to find out who owns the land. Now, we did a property search for the address, and 10 results popped up, most of them Metro Water. So we reached out to Metro Water Services to ask if this encampment falls in their property lines. They replied and said it doesn't. It is a continual challenge and something that we are we're actively working on. Councilman Jacob Coopin says he walked this greenway a few months back with the Office of Homeless Services. While he wants to get those people help and housed, he also emphasizes the need for safety after the recent attack on the popular running trail. An incident like this brings brings to the forefront the conversation around safety for people, especially using that greenway. At the same time, Coopin says closing encampments like this is a lengthy process. The way the, the Office of Homeless Services um, process works is that there are certain scores for camps and they have a homelessness planning council um, that decides what the order of operations is for closing encampments and um, providing housing. We also reached out to the Office of Homeless Services to see where this encampment falls on their priority list. They are not ready to announce next steps to the public in their prioritization list. And after the most recent incident on the trail, Coopin says he immediately called his contacts at the city level to see if that man did in fact live in this homeless encampment. So far, no confirmation. But again, we do know that the man was last seen walking away from that encampment. For now, live in Germantown, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your code red station.